हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश वाला टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द साइलेंट लेटर्स इन इंग्लिश वर्ड्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग थिंग्स इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इज द फैक्ट दैट मेनी वर्ड्स हैव लेटर्स that we don't pronounce at all and surprisingly enough 60% of the total words used in english language have the silent letters these letters are not pronounced they are very much present in the words so so far as the spelling is concerned you what to write the letters but you cannot pronounce it unfortunately there is nothing that you or i can do to change this but there are some rules that can help us yes you heard me right there are some rules knowing these rules about silent letters can really help our pronunciation so today i am going to explain those rules and also give you lots of examples if you can think of more examples while watching this video you can write them in the comment box now let's proceed the english language so what are the what are the main points the english language has a lot of silent letters these silent letters cause difficulties for both native speakers and english learners because they make the spelling of words different from their pronunciation so we have to know them properly for two things for perfect spelling and also for perfect pronunciation let's learn the rules that can help us now when a is silent most of the time we do pronounce the letter a but if a word ends in i c a l l y i repeat if a word ends in i c a l l y we generally don't pronounce the a the a present in i c a double l y so let us see some examples for example automatically automatically it's not automatically it's automatically see here i have written the spelling according to the pronunciation though it's not the correct spelling but how should we pronounce just pretend that there is no a at the end so it is not automatically it is automatically basically chaotically logically practically 
surgically, specifically, stoically, and whimsically. It's not whimsically or stoically or specifically or surgically or practically logically no we should pronounce just like this look at the right hand side automatically basically chaotically logically practically surgically specifically stoically and whimsically there may be some other words and if you find those words if you have those examples you can write in the comment box but one thing should be remembered don't think about the word ending in a l l y only it is i c a l l y it should be noted that this rule does not apply to all words that end in a l l y for example in the following words the a is pronounced ideally generally vocally mentally etc so this rule does not follow or does not apply when the words end simply in a l l y so this rule just applies to words that end in i c a double l y so there a should be silent now when b is silent let's proceed to the letter b first of all we usually don't pronounce the b if it is after m at the end of a word so keep it in mind b is not pronounced when it is after m and the mb is at the end of a word for example we generally pronounce bomb but keep it in your mind it is not bomb it's not bomb the last sound is m m m so just pretend that the last b is not there in the word bum pretend that the last b is not there so what should be the pronunciation bum let us see some other examples climb climb the actual spelling is c l i m b and how should we pronounce pretend that b is not there b is not there so the word should be climb crumb not crumb crumb dumb not dumb dumb lamb lean numb umb um sakam tham it's not thumb tham and tum so b the last b 
should not be pronounced if the word in sin m b the last b should not be pronounced and the last one is plum it's not plumb it's not plumber it's not plumbing plumbing plumber plum got the rule now occasionally the b is silent after an m not simply at the end when they are at the end but in the middle of a word not always occasionally it happens actually in those cases the just mentioned words that means all these words the just mentioned words are the roots if these words like climb comb cram dum lam lim nam um sakam tham tum plum if these words are the root words are the roots then even if mb is in the middle of the word we will not pronounce b for example climber not climber climber plumber plumber not plumber dumb struck dumb struck no there shouldn't be any b sound now when mb is in the middle of a word most of the time we pronounce both the letters for example ambiguous member number umbrella symbol so mb if mb is in the middle of a word we will not pronounce b only in the words for which the root word is this listed ones and these types of words otherwise if mb is in the middle of a word both the letters will be pronounced now b is silent sometimes b is silent when it is used before t there are a few words in which the b is silent before the letter t these words are date date it's not debt date doubt subtle subtle it's not subtle subtle this rule also applies to the words that have these words as their roots for example debtor debtor or indebted so the root word is debt so debtor indebted doubtful subtlety subtlety so in these cases also b is not pronounced that is b is silent when c is silent the c is almost always silent if it comes after an s and before an e or an i so s plus c plus e or i if this is the combination 
so if c comes after s and before e or i c is silent however there is an exception in the word muscle muscle the c is silent muscle there is no pronunciation of the letter c though here c comes after s only but after c there is no e or i but here also she is silent because in the word muscle though here the c comes after an s there is no e or i after it but the c is not pronounced this is an exception and we should be careful about it now let us see the other words with silent c i have written the spellings in the left side and in the right side i have written how they should be pronounced so decent she pretend that there is no c or descend fluorescent seen sent science scissors scenario disciple a discipline fascinate fascinate ascent ascend abscess conscious transcend in all these words if we pretend that there is no c and if we read the words the words give us the same pronunciation so here c is silent now where d is silent d is silent when it is before the letter g d is silent when it is before the letter g d g together pronounces like j pronounces like j or j as in the word jam let us see the words with d g so d is silent here badge b a d g e we should not pronounce it as badge badge no it should be badge bridge ridge hedge hedge budget edge fridge judge knowledge voyage pledge dodge grudge gadget cartridge lodge ledger fidget midget 
draj vijit so in all these words in place of dg when d is followed by g d remains silent and g has the sound of j or jaw as in the word jam it's very clear to you now here are some common random words that also have a silent d and frequently we make a mistake in pronouncing these words we sometimes make a mistake by pronouncing the d the daw sound in these words for example handkerchief it's not hand kerchief handkerchief pretend that d is not there and you know that the very informal term for handkerchief is hanky even hanky so the pronunciation is handkerchief not handkerchief handkerchief handsome handsome it's not handsome handsome sandwich sandwich it's not sandwich sandwich wednesday it's not wednesday wednesday so in these words also d is silent now you can try to find out some other words having silent d and if you find them out write in the comment box next one e there are lots of silent e's in english normally if an e is at the end of a word we don't pronounce it normally if an e is at the end of a word we don't pronounce it for example before bridge example give have same etc there are so many words sometimes however though e itself is not pronounced e is at the end of the word itself it is not pronounced but it affects the pronunciation of the previous vowel sound in that word for example c a p cap again c a p e here e is not pronounced but the sound of the previous vowel that is a here is affected is changed how is it changed c a p cap but c a p e cap so in the first word cap a is here pronounced as a but when there is e at the end of the word this a is pronounced as the letter a a k a k so cord cord becomes cord cord o hat becomes hate quit quit becomes quiet seat becomes sight there are lots of words like this and you can write in the comment box and the in those cases in those words e is at the end 
and e is not pronounced but e affects the pronunciation of the previous vowel now if e is the only vowel in the word it is pronounced even if it is at the end so she the exception generally e when it is at the end of a word e is not pronounced but if e is the only vowel in the word and even if it is at the end of the word it is pronounced for example b he is pronounced she the or the so this is another rule if the past or past participle form of a verb ends in ed ends in ed for example call called we normally don't pronounce the letter e if the past or past participle form of a verb ends in ed so call called called we do not pronounce it as called helped looked seemed etc you can find many more words like this we only pronounce e in an ed ending if the base verbs ends in a do or to sound d or t do sound or to sound for example end e n d this verb ends in do sound so if we add ed in the past tense or past participle we should pronounce it as ended included started wanted etc you can find many more words like this in this lesson i have discussed the silent letters from a to e but i'll discuss all the silent letters in english language in my next video i'll discuss some other silent letters if my videos prove to be helpful to you please like them and press the subscribe button to be notified whenever i upload any video thank you thank you for watching my video